stop until they hate you. What's good, YouTube? Sunday morning. I'm about to go ahead and smash my 30 minutes of cardio on the Stairmaster. And then I'm gonna bring you a um bring you a back and chest video. Today is all about back and chest. And it's gonna be a quick, quick workout. Cause my cowboys play at one o'clock, so I'm trying to get back to the house and get it in. Right now it is 10:15. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my 30 minutes of cardio, get done with cardio, and I'm gonna do a bench progression. I'm on my way up, I'm gonna be doing max reps. I'm probably gonna start getting max reps around 205. 205 or 225, I'm gonna start hitting max reps to fill you on the way up. And I'm gonna to continue to go up until I hit a weight that I can only get a max rep of about five reps. And once I get to that weight where I can only get five, I'm gonna come back down the same pyramid, still gonna do a drop set. And but I catch you in a little bit when I get ready to do this um chest pyramid. Yeah. All right, so we already nice and warmed up. So I said in the car we was gonna start the working set at 205, and I'm gonna start it at 185. I wanna get, I know I can do 20 reps or plus. I can do 20 plus reps with 185 pounds, but that's when I'm trying to be strong and explosive. Right here, I'm not really going for explosive and strong. Like I'm going for more concentration and a squeeze. So basically I'm turning a compound movement, which is the bench press, into a isolation movement. Cause I'm trying to isolate my chest. And you can do it with ease, but you have to put your mind in your chest and you have to focus and squeeze through each rep. And it's gonna give you that maximum stimulation in those pecs immediately. Now once I get the stimulation in those pecs, and those pecs are firing, and I'm ready to throw 225 through the roof, then I might start to speed it up a little bit. But for now, slow and control, Boom, boom, boom. to be a shiner. To run my money, yup. Feeling like I'm getting stronger. This shit got me gas. But the more, like the more worn up I get, the more stronger. It seems like the stronger I get. I've always been like that. I be working out with people. We'll start the workout, and I might be hitting like I did with the 185, 15 reps, 205. 
13 rip, 225, 13 rip. Now I'm gonna throw 10 on each side. Shit, hopefully I get another 13. The more my muscles get warmed up, the more blood start to flowing. Like that grown man power kicking. <sighs> I probably should take a longer break than what I'm taking between these sets. But oh well. Uh, oh well. It will be okay. Let's go. Ten. 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 Too far. Ah! Hey, no way. That set right there gonna force me to take a longer break. I'm coming back to two, four, I'm coming back to this. Ain't no way I only get five, real. Hey, trip. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. that last set that's gonna be the difference between doing free weight exercises and machine exercises so say if I was on the military press I mean not military press say I was, if I was on the hammer strength chest press and I was pushing the weight but I wasn't all the way locked in I wasn't all the way focused I could have still got my 10 reps on it even though I wasn't locked in. But on this bench press, you gotta be locked in, you gotta be focused, you gotta have your mind right to achieve what you're trying to achieve. So like, that's why I like doing free weight movements because you can't cheat the free weights. Like, you can get on that machine over there and go through the motions. You go get something out of it. But when you step on those free weights and you gotta stabilize that weight, you gonna get a lot out of it, mentally and physically. Then once you exhaust the muscle, then I go over there to the machines and do the machines and, and, and fill the muscles up with blood and get a good pump. But man, you can't, you can't cheat this grind right here.
Y'all probably trying to figure out why the hell I'm doing chest and back on the same day. I already did chest earlier this week. And I already did back earlier this week. It's a little touch up. Trying to preserve muscle on this, on this diet. So you gotta touch the muscle twice a week. <clears throat> People don't like them pull up because they hard. I'm sitting at 215 right now. If you want a 215, you gotta be able to do pull ups. So that was a pretty good chest and back session. Like I told you in the gym, I already hit back and chest one time this week. So basically that was just like a little touch up, little touch up work. Like I said, today is Sunday. So I like to go in on Sundays and get my cardio in and touch up everything that I've already touched up. Well, touch up everything that I've already smashed already during this week. So touched up on chest so I, and the reason I like to do that because I don't like to go into my chest day or my back day or I don't like to go into it like flat and haven't done it in all week like I do it one day a week and don't do it anymore but like I've already 
did chest one day, one day this week. I already did back one day this week. So now I went in just to touch it up. So when I have my chest day Tuesday, I'm going I'm to do back tomorrow, which is going to be Monday. And I'm going to have my chest day Tuesday. And my chest still going to be a little tight, but it's still... Like, I didn't annihilate chest just now. So when I do chest Tuesday, my chest still going to be a little tight. Still going to be a little pump, a little full. So I'm going to go into that chest workout and it's just going to be that much easier to get to what I'm trying to get to as far as tearing down the muscle. I'm trying to get better with my content posting. I post on Instagram every day, so go follow my Instagram as well. But make sure you um, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, man. And stay with me, man. Rock with me. We're trying to we're trying to do big things in this in this fitness YouTube world. So stay with me, cause we coming. Peace.